Dude, they're on this point, bro. He's taking drag, boys. All right, let's get a couple shots and get these girls released. Let's do it. That's not good. That's not good at all. <sighs> Welcome back, ladies and gents. Thank goodness for MTB for sponsoring today's episode. We are gonna need that to get the old truck fixed. Caliper got messed up, tires flat. You probably noticed that seconds ago. One of our inner tie rod deals, check this thing out. I don't know if y'all can see that, but she's leaking. So the truck's just going through right now, y'all. And uh, today we're hitting some private water. We're gonna go for an MTB slam. Our buddy Clint has saved the day. <laughs> Clint Barley, you've seen him in a lot of the recent videos. Guess what? He has offered to drive us out to the property. So we're headed to storage. We're gonna go pick up the hot tamale, AKA the bass boat, since our truck is unable to. Hopefully it doesn't get towed before this afternoon when we tow it to the shop. <sighs> it's how our day's starting, man. We thought we were gonna be to the water at sunrise. Turns out we're gonna get there about 12 noon, but that's how it goes. Get ready for an exciting day. We're gonna try and get on them. I'm excited. Let's catch a big one, like a giant. A true Texas giant. I need one. You need one? I need yeah. one. We both need one. Let's What's just... your PB? My PB I caught a year ago today in Texas, Choke Canyon Lake down in South Texas, 8-6. 8-6. He's giving you all the honey holes too. <laughs> Destination is on your left. Okay, hours later, this place really is out here. By the way, this is one of the premier properties in the club with private water fishing. It's near Lake Fork, and we've got a gate code. I just don't know which gate we need to enter. <laughs> I'm pumped, Clint. How you feel? I'm feeling good. We drank way too many energy drinks on the drive here. Way too many so. Celsius. He had a monster. Then I hit him with the, the Celsius. I said, you have to try this Tropical Vibe flavor. So he's at least 300 milligrams in. All right, let's pull up, y'all. Does not get any more Texas than rolling through cow pasture <laughs> dude look at the homie he's, he's not oh watch them things boy there's a 60 acre lake right there we just ran into one of the owners oftentimes when you book these properties you you don't get a whole lot of buckle up for safety in this back roads baby have any interaction with the owners but in this case uh, it's a newer property and they wanted to uh make sure that we're removing all the bass under 14 inches and below they want to keep this thing uh maintained and just a great habitat for those big bass so we don't want all them small bass munching on the bait fish they got stocked in here i did see some recent reports at this place as well it looks like in the last week there's been multiple anglers out here that have caught like 50 fish or more so i'm pretty pumped and they said they only culled like a third of them maybe a quarter of the fish caught so that means a lot of these fish are going to be hopefully decent size i cannot wait we're still about a half mile maybe from the ramp this thing is deep in the back 40. There he is, there's a good luck. Oh, we finna catch him today, boys. We got good luck on our side. Let's go here. You just hang out up there with Frank the Ducky, and y'all have yourselves a good old drive. We still got cell service out here, but it looks like it's starting to cut out. Dang, y'all. This looks insane. Clint and I are excited. Dude, I appreciate you driving out here, by oh, the way. Sure. I hit him up last minute yesterday. I was like, dude, we've got a dilemma. There's a brand new private water fishing property that's supposed to be some of the best fishing in the state. We got to get out here, except my truck is it's broken. So how do you say no to that? <laughs> exactly. I got a truck. He said, shoot, I got four wheel drive. Let's go. I don't think the Subaru could have pulled it through here. I don't know if the Subaru would have pulled the hot tamale. We could have maybe brought the John boat out, but you know. First impressions, beautiful covered dock. Look at this healthy grass. Although it's not crystal clear, we had a terrible storm last night that I know impacted this area. And it's kind of like that tea colored water. So it's actually got more clarity than I thought. I, I fully expected chocolate milk. After that hard rain, that's impressive that it's still this clean. Man, this whole tree line right here looks ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this thing goes way back. This is 60 acres, y'all. We about to drop this thing in. First thing we wanted to do is make sure we could whip the truck in here to hit the ramp because uh, it is a little tight. I'm thinking we might need to go over there. I think a left might be the best bet. Ooh, that Silverado is looking pretty good.
man, this is how you know you haven't broken out your boat in like at least a month. Look at this. This one's not even half as bad. That front screen was like just dusty beyond belief. Shame on us fishermen out here. Two hour drive, let's hope she fires up. I ain't taking this boat out in who knows how long. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Celsius got me fired up for some fish, y'all. Not a Celsius ad, by the way, it's just good. Just go buy that stuff, but it is an ad for Mystery Tackle Box, y'all. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know we've been using Mystery Tackle Box for the last couple years over here on the channel. They've been big time supporters and we absolutely love the service. You get new baits sent to your door every single month. It's one of the best ways to try out new techniques, find new favorite lures that get sent to you based on the season and the type of fish you want to catch. Even throwing some Guggen baits in some of these boxes, y'all. You cannot beat it. Go ahead and check out Mystery Tackle Box with the link down below. You can try your first box for as low as 10 bucks with code Weston. You gotta get on it right now, it's the holidays. Stop I'm on about 30 of these boxes, man. You gotta have enough for you and the homies out there on the water. Let's go ahead and get to fishing, boy. We have a measuring board so we can see which bass we need to keep in the water here and which bass we need to cull and remove. Dude, this box is bringing back memories. I remember the first lipless crankbait I ever threw was this Janko one right here before Guggen Squad even thought about making the clutch. I received this in one of my boxes, started catching some tanks on it. Drop shot hooks, drop shot worms, even got some drop shot weights. This thing is set up for success this time of year, guys. Let me get this GoPro on here. Let's get to catching. With these lipless cranks, one of the best baits for fall, one of the things you can do with this guy is you can either just do a constant retrieve or you can do what they kind of call that yo-yo where you just kind of lift the rod tip and you let it pause as you reel in the slack. Lift that rod tip, it's swimming at you, then reel in that slack on the way down. So it's just almost like cruising along and stopping. Oftentimes you'll get hit on the pause. One benefit to these lipless as well is that you can fish stuff like the grass on the edge of this lake here because it doesn't have that square bill like the divers do, which is gonna get all that grass caught up on it and it's not gonna swim effectively. With these guys right here, this is called the rip knocker. Just with a fierce pull of the rod, you can go ahead and rip that grass off there and keep swimming it and get those bites. So a lipless is much better for those grassy lakes versus those square bills, which oftentimes you're trying to get down to the bottom, bang up against rock, wood, timber, things of that nature. So square bill trees, lipless grass. Let's go. Where'd those bastards go? There they are. Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. Yes. Live scoped him, bro. Yes. That's not your 10 pound line, right? Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. Dude, that's a decent little fish right there. That's <laughs> First fish of the day goes to Clint, baby. Jigging the rattle trap, huh? Yep. I think he's 14. Yeah. Oh, he's 16. Yep. Catching them giants out here. <laughs> Look at all those fish. Toss. Oh, God. damn. Oh, yeah. Black and blue cracking craw coming at me. Could be small, could be big. It's a little dude. We got you, boy. You're going to qualify. I'd put you at about 17 inches right there. That's on the black and blue. We weren't fishing shallow, but I decided to cast in this tree right here that we are drifting towards at mock speed thanks to the winds. Look at that, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get you back in the water, son. I gotta fix my crawl real quick. I ain't no pro tour angler. It takes me some time, boy. I'm a YouTube guy. I ain't no fisherman now. You must have me up. I'd say it's time for some cool ranch Doritos on that one. In the kitchen wrist, twisted. Ooh, that's deadly. Going from the shade to the light. Here comes the twig. Don't do it to him. Ooh, got him, got him, got him. I can't tell. He's swimming out deep. It could be good, dude. It could be okay. He's got a little weight. Oh, yep. Oh, I think it was probably four. Oh, wow. Yes or no? Watch yourself, watch yourself. Is this the 10 pound line? Uh, no, this is 16. That's a good one. There we go, bro. Yes, sir. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Mondo oh, worm for Mondo bowl. bass. Dude, he's smoking shad. Oh, it's a spine. Dude. That's he ate bass. a giant fish. That's another bass, dude. No That's way. Tail. Two for one special, bro. Mondo That's worms. That's That's <laughs> I've never assembled this net so fast. <laughs> Of course we would land the smallest one. And uh, wow, that hook's a lot stickier than that last fish. Confidence bait as usual. 
got that blade for a little flash yet it can also dive a little bit deeper and quicker than that spinner bait so you can work it like i say anywhere within the depth range so as soon as i felt that thing hit the bottom i started creeping it slow boom healthy bass out here y'all you got to check out this spot for annie's lake let's go oh my slip <laughs> Yo. what you got okay better safe than sorry i haven't seen this fish i haven't seen this fish at all Oh, watch yourself, watch yourself now. Is it a smart one? Is it gonna wrap you in the motor? <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's solid, bro, sizable. Oh, very sizable! Dude, that's a good one! <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's oh, a good one. Oh my uh, that's, gosh. That's, a good one on the... that's gonna beat four. I don't know how much over, dude. Dude, that might, that, that, that might be five. That's got good length. Yeah, that's all you. I'm going 532. Oh, dude, you might be undershot. Oh, okay, five oh, okay, just over five. Okay. It's not ounces. Yeah. Five oh eight, y'all. Clint's killing it. Do, 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 do. Yes, please. Oh, that's a twig. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> I think it's a little. Dude, we're doing a good job of oh hey. Oh, I thought that was a trolling motor on a branch. That was just those behemoths right beneath my feet. <laughs> that's gonna be for over 14 as well man we're catching some good solid bass out here y'all i believe this is the seventh landed bass we could be wrong but minimum seven in the boat as soon as i uh brushed over that branch boom he smacked it oh wow okay i thought you were gonna say it was really big okay are you good or you want me to, is it light line uh we'll just toss him in there look at that oh my gosh Oh no! I saw him come up on that. Look, he's swimming back down. Do I have a fish on here? Do I have a freaking fish on here? <laughs> yo, look at this drop off, dude. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my gosh. Oh, got him. I saw him eat it. Yeah, baby. That's a swoosh. That was sick. I saw him chase it up, man. Oh, that air perspective mode, boy. That'll get your heart beating. These fish are healthy boys. Dude, they were just rushing through right, right. See that where it gets deeper. Oh, fish. What do we got? This might be our first non-bass, y'all. It's a bass. Oh God, he's taking drag, boys. I had to drop it down, y'all. We're in some shallow water now. This is the uh, Corrado BFS. I'm gonna tighten this drag up a little bit. This is the Corrado BFS on a twitch rod. That thing's definitely on a treat. <laughs> Micro cranking, look at that right there. I decided to downsize from the big swim bait and I hit him smack dab in the middle of the face with the old Micro Recon, y'all. This is a two to four foot diver. We are in 2.8 feet, so I just kept that rod tip up nice and high. And uh, they can't resist it, man. It's that fall feeding frenzy on this little bait. Micro crank to switch it up. Oh, God. Oh, dude, he's swimming. Oh, my gosh. What is that, sir? What is that? What is that? That's a certified big one. That's a big one, huh? That's a big one. That might be, dude. That's a Bandasaurus Rex. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh boy, Clint, you better get him. Oh, she's peeing, son. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's the shallowest big one yet, yeah, dude. That was probably a foot and a half. Dude, he ran with it, too. That was sick. Mondo worm just ain't playing. The conditions have pulled a 180. I consulted with the MTB box, and she's telling me to throw the drop shot. This box literally has it all. Hooks, weights, baits. I'm gonna rig it up on the BFS. Man, I can't do anything. Get that out of my boat. Shut up. Let's catch a toad on the drop shot. I'm hooked up. Vanessa, y'all, I told you. Oh, gosh, it's good. It's good. It's freaking giant. It's a drop shot legend. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, this thing might be three pounds, bro. Oh, go, go, go. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh, go. Oh, my gosh. It's a giant. It's a giant. Drop shot giant. Oh, my God. It's going to break the line. This is insanity. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta sneak up on them when it's nice and quiet. Anyways, 
that knocked out three baits from the box in one. That was the drop shot worm, that was those hooks, and it was one of those weights that kind of came off in the chaos. I don't know if y'all caught that. That was absolute insanity. That was a get the net moment on the BFS rod. I mean, I think I have like six pound test on there. Insane, dude. It was scream and drag. That's why you gotta throw those things. So much fun, even with a two to three pounder. BFS reels. It's the new spinning setup. Crank on another one. <laughs> He's ready, man. That Mondo worm, he hasn't set the worm down. That's why I knew the drop shot was gonna work. I'm gonna try and get a few more casts over here on this point. I think we're onto something. Today's too much fun. Just spending money on the Tundra, catching big fish on the BFS. Uh, got a handful in the live well, and now I think we're gonna break out the old fly. I wanna see, since it's calmed down, if I can maybe uh, scoop us up one. If I can catch anything really above like three, but probably three and a half pounds, it is my guaranteed fly rod PB, as well as the fact that I've never fly fished off of our bass boat yet, the hot tamale. Drop a like for it, y'all subscribe if you're new. I'll show you what we're throwing here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Got him? Nice. I think he's throwing like a five inch Sanko over here. Oh, wow, that's not that bad for the finesse setup right there. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say. Another one, huh? You found him. Ooh, boy. Oh, that's another good one. Clint has caught like four four pounders back to back. That one was like bigger than five. I mean, they're just getting to be giant. And I'm over here trying to catch a fly fish off the dock and it ain't happening. So I'm gonna put this thing down and I'm gonna join him and bottom fishing out here right off the dock of the PWF property that has been so crazy, man. Let me toss that saucy swimmer out there and see if we can entice a big one as well. Yeah, that would be, hey, that'd be solid. Yeah, this one feels heavy, but I don't know how heavy. Oh my gosh, that's a wake. He's heavy. He's heavy. Oh, 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 this could be a six. This could be a, s oh, that could be bigger. Bro, that's pretty big. Yeah. That's, that's pretty six. big. That's a six, dude. Wow. <laughs> sauce. We were just the talking sauce. About we we were just talking about how we needed that kicker fish, man. There we oh, go. Oh my gosh, all right. Oh wow, there we go y'all. Subtle little tick. Oh shit! <laughs> Man, this thing's as long as the live well. Holy smokes, top five to end the night. All right, let's get a couple shots and get these girls released. Let's do it. All right, y'all, we're closing it out. We got top five in the box, but I can only hold three at the moment. Holy smokes, it was an amazing day. We would love to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's episode. Remember, first box is as low as 10 bucks with a code down in the description. Clint and I are now gonna let these things go. What an awesome private water fishing property. It's been an awesome day, y'all. I missed catching one on the fly, but Woo! We'll take it. See y'all next time. Tell me when you're ready. Alright. Alright, brothers, we'll see y'all. Woo!